Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and if you're new here, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. So today I want to do some images, I want to print out some images on deli paper. So this is my deli paper I have, and it's in my Amazon, if you check my links down below, the Amazon links, I have uh, deli paper, and you can come click on it and check it out. It's really fun to play with. I have some different things that we've done with it. And today I want to show you guys how to print images onto deli paper. So they turn out really cool. So you just, uh, I have an ink jet printer. Uh, I'm not sure about a laser jet or any of that. I've never tried that, but I have the ink jet printer and I just get an image and print it. And I'll show you guys how I get it all ready to do that, to put it into uh, the printer and stuff but I think it turns out so cool. It even kind of does a little bleed with the ink, and I like that. I think that's really neat how it does it. So that's the front of it, and then there's the back. So it's just got a cool crinkly effect, and I think it just turns out so cool. So there's one image, and then you can see it better on this, the bleed, but I really think it gives it more of an antique look to it. So it's kind of cool. That's the front and the back. And you get your little crinkly sound. And you can even do smaller images. I thought this one was really cool. So there's some fun projects we could do with this and with different, with all of them actually, but uh, yeah. So we got some thread spools. So I just think these turned out really cool. And then the birds. All right, so I'll show you guys a quick video on how I prep it, and let's get started here. So I got my paper, my deli paper, and then I just take a, just a copy paper here, just a regular standard uh, copy weight paper that goes in your printer. Okay. And what I do is I line up the edge right here, just edge to edge, like that. And then I got my tape, just some scotch tape. And then what I do is I pop it down like that. And then I make sure to get it as flat as I could and or can and fold it over just like that. So you want it flush with it. Okay. Then I flip it over and line it up. I want to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. And line it up here on the side. And then just take it and fold it and you're going to fold it flush all the way. You don't want to bend the paper or anything, but you want to get it right with it and just fold it up. Okay. So this is how I've been doing it and it seems to work pretty darn good. Okay. And then just make sure that that's even here. There we go. And then I take another piece of tape You just want to make sure it looks good. Okay, and then I just put it here like that. And then pop it down. Okay. Then I line this top part up here with this part. And then I know it's flush. flush with it, lined up, take another piece of tape here, and then I just pop it right there, okay, and then I put one more at the top here, because this is going to be the part that loads in 
this will be the part that goes first. So you want to make sure I just catch that little flap here and line it up. And then go like that. Just fold it over. Okay. And if you want, you could tape here in the middle, but I haven't been. And what I do is when I put it in my printer, so that's what the front looks like. So when I put it in my printer, I have to turn it upside down and load it in like that. So however your printer uh, prints. Uh, so I put mine in like this and make sure it's in there good and then print it and it comes right through and we get really cool images. So just whatever you want to print. And like I said, I have a, you know, inkjet one. So if you guys do it on a laser or anything, I'd like to know in the comments. Let me know how that works out. I would love to know. And uh, so that's what it looks like. And you got it all prepped and ready to go. And then this is what it looks like when it comes out. So you just got to be careful. Like mine's a little wet. So I just make sure to put my gloves on because I do, I, I have the bleeding that happens and um, I'm not sure why or if it's just mine that's doing it, but uh, I kind of like the look of it. So I just take like a baby wipe or a, you know, tissue or a napkin or something, paper towel, and just kind of, you know, blot it. Cause then, I mean, you could take your heat gun to it if you want to, but I'm just trying to get it so it's not so inky on my fingers. And uh, yeah, cause you don't want to get this ink on you. It's just, it'll just stay all day and be annoying. Okay. So this is what it looks like when it comes out. And then I just take it and untape it. And sometimes the tape will just kind of come off and then you can reuse it too, if you want it to. And I'm just using, you know, just the scotch tape. Um, you could try masking tape, but I don't know if that'll be too thick, but it might, it might be fine. I mean, you can try it, you know, always experiment and stuff. And, um, I'm just going to fold that over because I'll get rid of this anyway. But yeah, it's always good to experiment and to see what works and what doesn't, you know? So I definitely encourage that. I'm just taking the printer paper off here and moving it to the side. And then this is what you got. And what I've been doing is just taking my ruler and you can either cut it out if you want perfect straight edges or um, take your ruler and just do some torn edges. Some fun torn edges are always nice. And these make great pages you can put into your journals. And uh, I mean, you could even, you know, you could fold it in and put it in as a page in your journal. You could make this a, you can use it as decoupage and make this like a cover for your journal, which would be really cool. Um, I mean, there's just so many different things you could do with it. But that's pretty much it. That is the basics of how I did this. So I hope you guys found this informational. It was just a quick video to show you and uh, get your papers going. And I'd love to hear in the comments how they all turned out. And uh, yeah, so there we go. This is what we got here. So if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.